Hello and welcome back to Boxing Social in association with Betfred. My name is Eamon Khan. I'm here at Croydon, London, with the one and only, the body breaker, Idris Virgo. Idris, how's life treating you? What's going on? Live streaming, great. But if you're in association with, um, what's it, Betfred? Betfred, you just respond to man. Respond to the one and only, the body breaker. Let's go. Let's go, baby. <laughs> Something interesting happened on social media. It does normally happen with you, to be fair. Um, the kind of old footage of you throwing the water over the journeyman fight that you had a few fights back resurfaced. And I, it, it, it put an interesting thought in my head because when I last spoke to you in Coventry, you kind of, kind of moved on from that, I feel. But also, when that resurfaced, you kind of played up to it too. Where do you feel your kind of mind is in terms of the two Idrises, the one, the mature one who's moved away from kind of the things in Birmingham to Brighton to the one that also wants to not play up to the cameras but also maximise the opportunity, the spotlight that he gets? I don't know to be honest with you. Um, it's, it's a hard one to say. Um, as a boxer, you got to learn how to promote yourself and I believe I'm a great promoter because I know how to promote myself. So when I see an opportunity like that resurface itself, I've got to re-promote myself, you know what I mean? I can't be quiet like a baby. I've got to say things and make it interesting so um you're just gonna get and um, just two sides of each virgo mature and um a great promoter side of each virgo <laughs> you're just picking that up there with idris um also during the press conference there was an interesting moment where um a sparring story is brought up you kind of sort of half coughed the name there in terms of how you've been performing and sparring and who you've been sparring could you tell me a little bit more about that yeah, I've been sparring some top world class fighters, Ben Saunders, I've been sparring Chris Eubanks, I've been sparring um, other boxers, like even say sort of top amateur boxers. Like, I've been, I've been in there with top caliber lads in sparring, so on fight night it's just about me doing what I do in sparring on fight night. And I believe now, being all active and getting out there and fighting, like, you're just going to see a better version of Idris Vero each time when you tune in and watch me, and you will be a fan of me. And all we will say this, what Mayweather said at the beginning of his career, if you're better than him for the first time, you'll be a millionaire. So people, start betting on me, man, because you will be a millionaire. A lot of names also circulate around yourself and other fighters. Nathan Heaney is one, uh, River Wilson Bent is one as well, as we mentioned. You had an interesting press conference, a few press conferences back with uh, River 2, uh, a little funny back and forth. but. How close do you feel you are to maybe getting that type of fight soon? I'm very close. Um, these opponents, as I always say now, these opponents look at my record and I think, you know what, he's only got one knockout, we'll take him on. But it's just weird, like all these people are calling me out, but no one's calling. It, do, it doesn't make sense. It's not like a difficult number that they can't find me in the yellow books. <laughs> it's as simple as this. Follow me, drop me a message, and we'll get the fight on. Simple as that. It just, we also had a very. Uh, Controversial, at least uh, a moment in boxing a day or so ago, I think it was yesterday, where uh, Tommy Fury pulled out of a fight with Jake Paul. I know you've been an observer of that, both in terms of Jake Paul and Tommy Fury, Love Island connection there too. Just your reaction to that? But the, my reaction is like, things like that always happen. Um, fair play for Tommy Fury to come out and say, he's, obviously he doesn't feel well, he's um, injured and he can't fight. Fair play to him, because mentally that would literally destroy him to actually live up to the word what Jake Paul said. Tommy Fimble, so he literally had filmed with it, but there's also got to be respect on Tommy Fury for pulling out from the fight. Now with Jake Paul, why is he fighting someone he's already fought already? He wants to fight a Love Islander, he wants to fight a Love Island man. I'm here Jake Paul, I don't understand why you're going to rematch someone you've already beat. I know why, because you've already beat him already. Why don't you just fight someone new? It's not too late. I'll take the fight at Cruiserweight, I'll go to weight division and I'll kick your ass. It just let's take it to Friday night. Um, what can we expect to see from you on Friday? Yeah, that's right. I can't oversee Friday night. Um, I never overlook our opponent. You could expect to see a you could expect to see a explosive performance on Friday night. Two things will happen: I'll win or not my opponent out. But I'm going to be more relaxed for this fight. I'm going to have a bit more fun. I've got eight rounds. I've got more time to get the job done. So yeah, Friday night. Tune in live on YouTube. Let's go, baby. I'm ready. Are you ready? Get that popcorn out and let's go. Idris, wishing you all the best at the weekend. Thank you so much for speaking to Boxing Social. All the best.